tune in Saturday, 6 p.m. ESPN. Every fight, every camp, you evolve. You're not gonna be the same fighter you are your last fight than you are the next fight. So the, the, the evolution of, of your martial arts, of your, your fighting, of your style, of, is, is, is one of the best things about this sport. Uh, it's constantly improving, constantly evolving, and you know, having fun doing, having fun with all of it, so. So how old are you working on this class? So for the Hot 60 is a 60 minute Bikram class. Um, traditionally it was 90 minutes, but in time it's kind of evolved to make it a little more um, realistic, people's time constraints. So you're going to be working on increase in flexibility, of course. Uh, it's a super functional way to cut weight, so that's why it's really effective for fighters. And Matt's made it a part of his, you know, his uh, fight camp and training. Um, increase in muscle, bone density. It's great for reducing stress, increasing recovery time, helps with sleep. I mean, it almost sounds unrealistic with all the benefits, but you know, if you take the class and you experience it, you, you realize what you're getting out of it. You know, it's hard work, and you gotta you gotta put the time in. But um, as far as I know, the benefits are, are pretty limitless. We out here, New York City. We got the team rollers. Oh, we got the team rollers. <laughs> oh, yo. We took my goal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you see this? What's up? That's your best picture right there, man. Yeah, of course. For sure, man. Met the opponent, met his whole team, told him to have a good weight cut. That's it. All, all, all you can all you can hope is to have a worthy opponent who shows up ready, shows up on weight. So I hope he does. I just got like my fight week schedule with like media and whatnot. Um, we're about to uh, get our uh, fight kits, uh, like fight walkout stuff, yeah, like our shorts and our hoodies and try that stuff up. And then we're gonna go sign posters. And then I'm gonna get my food, baby. My food, my weight cut food. And then we we'll go up to the hotel, the room, check in the room, and fight week is uh, upon us. So it's Wednesday, Wednesday morning. I woke up at 167.0, which is good, really good, 11 pounds. 11 pounds by Friday, 9 a.m., which is, we're ahead of schedule. I write everything down, so I always look back at my last fight week. I was, I was a pound heavier than this, so it's going good, baby. Weight cut's going good. I'm still water loading. I'm drinking uh, two gallons of water today, so I'm like pissing every, every like 30 minutes I gotta take a piss. I water loaded yesterday. I woke up like 10 times throughout the night to piss, and I took a nice shit this morning too, which is, you know, my body's working on point. You're catching a body, let's go. Everything. Let's go. Back in high school, Matty was the captain of the lacrosse team. Jimmy was the pitcher for the baseball team. And they had games the same day at home. I had binoculars, and I would sit in the middle and I would watch him through the binoculars going back and forth. It was the best of them growing up in sports. Yes. Yeah, me and my boy Feld used to rap in college. This was like more than 10 years ago, and uh, there's one song I'm about to put on now, and uh, we predicted the future, man. We, we knew this was going to happen, now he's fighting in the UFC, so... Ten years ago. Yeah, long time ago. Smoking on the fury to be weed, it's absurd. And I'm flying like a bird. Ain't shit funny. Never been to Philly, but I know it's always sunny. And you might not understand me, cause my nose a little runny. Got the carrots on my neck, but I be hopping like a bunny. Ain't crazy, I'm in college and I don't
don't know what to be. Guarantee I see my brother fighting in the UFC. Life's good, it would be a lot better. Brotherhood with Maddie is is amazing, and him fighting has really brought us together even closer than we've ever been before. You know, when he goes to war, I go to war, and uh, yeah, it's it's something you know my father has instilled in us just to always be there, always to have each other's back, and being twins, I mean, same grade, you know, it is there's no bond like that. You know, I shared a womb with this fucking guy, so <laughs> yeah, he, we're brothers to the end. Growing up with Maddie is what every brother would want. You know, someone to have a catch with, someone to play sports with all the time. Um, it was just awesome. I would say that uh, he was our champion, you know, of our friends group. Uh, there's been some times where people wanted to start fights with us or with one of my friends and, you know, he would be the one that would end up, you know, in front of the other guy and putting him on the ground. Yeah, he got into a couple a couple scuffles here and there, I would say. Uh, seeing where he is now is uh, pretty crazy. I wouldn't say I didn't think he would ever get here. Um, I used to have, uh, I used to be a rapper back in the day. So uh, me and my buddy in college would just make uh, rap songs. And in one of them, I, I clearly say, you know, guarantee I'll see my brother fighting in the UFC. I wouldn't say I'm surprised because he's got the work ethic, but... Um, you know, I, I'm more than proud, and he could retire tomorrow, um, not take this fight on Saturday, and it wouldn't change one thing. This is a big one, huh? This is <laughs> media time. Yeah, you know, I, I can only focus on what I can control, and I'm, I'm ready, I'm all weight, and I'm going to be ready to fight. And, uh, you know, I saw him the other day, I shook his hand, I told him to have a good, have a good weight cut, and, uh, you know, I hope he does, because, uh, he, you know, he better show up ready, because I'm ready. You were really close to having that fight happen. Two years later, you booked again. I mean, how much relief is it? So be here, hopefully have a fight, and then be able to move on from him to somebody else. No, this is the second full camp I've done for this guy. So I'm excited to go out there and, and do it. You know, uh, you know when, when the first fight got canceled, I was definitely bumming, but I was glad I at least got the fight in Abu Dhabi. But uh, as soon as I heard that they, they signed him back to the UFC, I knew I wanted that fight back because I love the matchup. And, uh, you know, I wanted the I wanted this fight, and we got it, and we got it on the biggest stage in the world. I think I, think I nailed it. <laughs> it's funny being up there, man, answering these questions. But, uh, I think I think we did good because we did good. Go, dude. Spa. What are we doing at the spa? Uh, we're just gonna go chill. We're gonna go chill. We're gonna go sweat. We're gonna uh, get get in like my body used to dumping out water. You know, I'm water loaded now. So like, last last week and this week, like every night, I would try to just finish in a hot tub or a sauna and just get my body used to dumping out pounds of water before the weight cut. You going right now to the to the press, or are you just? Oh no, no. Just walking around. Yeah, we're just walking around. All right, but well, good luck to you, man. Thanks, bro. Appreciate right, it. We're going, all right? Yeah. Got our sweat on, just enough. You know, it's Wednesday night. I'm not trying to cut too much weight yet. I'm still water loading. Tomorrow, stop the water load. 
and I really start the, the water cut. Kept the body sweating, kept the heat acclimation going, and now we're heading back to the hotel.